Hey guys, my name is Forbarnon, and welcome to episode 17 of Vault Hunters. So, today, first off, I did work and finish, uh, where is it at? Here is the Guardian Farm. This actually took quite a bit of time last night. So, I also moved the warp stone from here with the ice to this spot right here. I'm not going to actually bother to mark it because, first off, I know where the guardian farm is. It's kind of, uh, it's one of those hard things to miss, right? And secondly, it's labeled in my thing as guardian farm. <laughs> so, um, yeah. However, I do need to set up uh, and I had to do a little bit more mining. You know, just 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 a smidgen. So I mean it gets good rates. And here I'll show you guys what it looks like as well. Okay, so I have these massive holes to fly through just because I want to be able to get out. And then also, if I want to make it into an XP farm, ta-da. And when I don't, they just fall down to magma. I get better at making my way out and then down here there's no storage system at all actually okay um actually i need to get also it's really nice about this design hello yes i just started oh damn it okay and as I was saying, what's nice about this design also is because of the fact of uh, how it's designed, I can jump up pretty easily from the water. Especially if I come over here. Oh. Yeah, so I'm actually really happy with the uh, design. And I need to take the bed. Thank you. Uh, actually, I'm missing... Hold on. Oops. Home. I'm actually missing some uh, stuff here. I'm not going to lie. I completely forgot that I had trapdoors last night because I was doing this while I was tired. Okay. So if we just stand... Right here, we can go like that, grabbing things. I do need to get a uh, beacon, though. I need to make a full tier beacon over here. But that's another thing for another time. I'll do that next time I need to uh, actually use the guardian farm I'm probably going to end up having a chest just for guardian farm blocks because if we're going to be farming it it needs to have a decent amount of space I wish I had known that like we can actually run this vault right now I just need to go run over and grab some ice Vault magnet. I do have a vault magnet. Well, it was less a question of if I had it and where what, or then. Okay. I need to perfect using 
the uh, the dash out of there. Oh, and like I said, I uh, did put work into some of our gear last night. Because I ended up finding out that we have some gear. Oops, I don't know why I'm holding space. Oh, God. I'll just show you guys the uh, new gear. And I used two Wu-Tac shards just to uh, get the sword to where we can use it, level 29. forgot how much we need. I think it was like 400 something. Oops. Okay, let's come over here. Please don't be mad, sir. Oh, that should be good enough. All right, now then. I mean, that's a four by four block hole. I don't see why we can't fly out. Hold on. Uh, what if I? Haha! Look at that. Oh okay. god. Now, just because I hate getting out of this place, I need to get a, uh, the Mega Jump ability. Okay. And then we need, what, 22 emeralds? Uh, Phantom Membrane. And... I don't remember the other easy-to-get thing here. Um... That's 22 emeralds and 25 pumpkins. And down we go. Oh, let's grab out of here. I love our little uh, pumpkin melon farm. It's not fast. In no way, shape, or form can we say that it is a fast farm. It is simply just efficient. You know, it just keeps plugging along. I knew it was like 400 something. Oh, I need to turn off the damn vault magnet. Look at that. And this will never not be cool to me. Yep, regular, normal type crystal. And again, this is easy. The 33 raw chicken. And the 561 smooth stone. You know, they'll take a minute, but they're doable. Okay. And so any vault gear that I phase out because I find something better, I'm not going to scrap it or anything else. Um, because personally, I think it's kind of stupid. Okay, respawn point set. So we changed out our sword, our boots, and our chest piece. So now we have, this is our chest piece, which gives plus... 4% knockback resist, and then it also has an extra level of armor, as well as, you know, the protection for and unbreaking for. And this has plus one resistance, so these are just better. And then I want to use this because of the fact that it is soulbound. Now, yes, technically it does... Or you know what? We're going to use the sword until we lose the sword, because that half a heart 
actually means something. Plus, this has uh, fire aspect three. And yeah, it's like literally this, that half a heart means something. I just kind of thought about that right now. It's like, oh, that half a heart might actually come in handy. Anyways. No, we're going to go uh, repair this magnet really quick, just because, uh, actually, we've run how many volts of it? I'll, uh, I will let it sit for this last vault. Oh, I can't even repair this. That's sad. The Idona altar, or the Idona idol can't even be repaired. Okay, we're going to grab one potion just to make sure we have two on inventory because we have three there. Uh, we're going to do this. Because I want four. Okay. Anything? Like, please, just scavenger vault. Unlucky and fast, huh? So that means we're not going to be getting a lot of good stuff. Add it at home. And we'll use Dark Aqua. So our chest rolls are going to be pretty bad. Oh no! Gifter statue. Whew. Okay, yeah, I need to get out of this room. This room is a death trap. It's not supposed to be crowded. What the hell? Okay. I mean, honestly, because of the fact that, like, okay, what, oh, this is black ice. Okay, I never actually bothered to look at that. So that's why I was genuinely curious what that was. Okay, so now we're at two out of three obelisks. Um, doo -doo -doo. Uh, that was kind of a bad rare chest. I will happily say that. Ooh, however. I mean, then again, we are unlucky, so I mean, I need to take that into account. I can't be expecting a whole bunch of good stuff. We did get a gifter statue, so. I will take them where I can get them. Burger part. Oh, actually, let's uh, throw that away. Oh, don't want to be in here. I don't like the water. Uh, who is this in? Tubbo giving metamorphic mesa stone. If I remember correctly, I have a lot of that. I don't know why I have so much of it. Like, I just keep finding I should get soul. Um, stuff. Oh, hello. Uh, cake. I'm not touching the cake, though. I, I don't trust cake in vaults. I definitely think having soul speed, even one, inside the vault would be nice. So I might do that. Oh, 
don't think he can hit me. Uh, I don't feel like building across and trying to get everything like that. I'd rather just run around and loot. Because if I do that, I just heavily focus. Oh, Jesus. On building, then I kind of commit myself to the room for the rest of the vault. A boss in a puzzle room. Okay, there's no possible way. Nope. Okay. Um, wait. You're kidding me. Five and three. I just need one more, um... We beat the puzzle room. Again. I can't believe we just beat two puzzle rooms two days in a row. I at least want to get all the bottom chests. Because these usually have uh, puzzle parts or puzzle pieces. Stay away. Okay. Um. Okay. And then up we go. Can't believe that. Um, we got a second one. So here's the plan. I'm actually going to beat the puzzle room, grab all of the loot, and then um, after that, honestly, I think we're going to fight the boss in here. Because this isn't a horrible place to fight a boss. At least I don't think it is. Okay, I just don't want to not get the loot from the puzzle. Da -da. Okay, now we're going to stand right... Things are safe inside my inventory. And we didn't get any traps either. And sadly, no vault diamonds. I was honestly really hoping for a vault diamond. Okay. Um, and we'll probably have to fight our way down through uh, all those dudes down there. Where's my hearty apples? Okay, yeah, we'll look at all the loot later. But for now... Where's he at? Oh, 
All right, cool. We're getting out of here. Okay. Oh my gosh, I love um, using the shaman. Like that is just so much fun. Okay, so boss crate. What do we got in here? We got a Pandora's box. Vault bronze. Woo! Okay, we got vault burgers. We got a helmet and two axes. Yeah, we keep finding a lot of axes. I'm uh, kind of surprised. However, let's uh, let's look for the real loot here. Okay, so we got a trader core. Okay, one vault essence. And then we got a helmet. Ooh, we also got uh, Captain Wu Tax with rocky dirt. Hellfire PvP with smooth quartz blocks. And then Tubbo with the other stuff. Okay. Plus 1% cooldown reduction. I mean... It's got three armor points, and it's got a bunch of cooldown. Or a bunch of repairs. I mean, this is not horrible. This gives two, so it's one additional. Hmm. I don't know if it's worth it. Like, plus it's all, I'd have to use Wu-Tac shards on it, and I really do not feel like using Wu-Tac shards on this. Okay, let's uh, utilize that, and then let's just see what else we get. Okay, level 30, 10.7 on the Voltax. Pretty much the same. And then that's plus 4% knockback resist. That gives two addition. That gives, okay, so this one's better and we can wear it right now. We're gonna have to enchant that one. Okay, and what's this? Ooh, that's a really good book. Okay, um, let's go turn that off. Uh, ah, but there, the booster packs. So let's crack these first. Not bad, not bad at all. I don't think we have that trader either, so... Okay. Let's drop off the stuff that we don't need. Because it's going with us in the next vault. Actually, that magnet's going with us. Those hardy apples are staying, and I think that's everything that goes with us. Let me check really quick. I mean, yes, I know that I... Ooh, I have mystery packs. I know I have the shulker box, but... Oh, wait, I have a space for it to... Uh, I'm going to say, if I don't have the space, that's fine. But I definitely do. So I guess we're also going to be repairing our helmet as well. Which honestly is really nice. Okay, then this one doesn't really matter. It's just going to be an empty shulker. So we'll just take an empty shulker from here. Put it there. And then we'll grab our stuff out of here. And you know what? Honestly, I'll just swap out the magnets. I mean, it doesn't really matter, does it? Like, 
headed? Grab my golden carrots, right? Yep, grabbed everything I needed to. Okay, and so today I just want to work on, you know, getting more farms established. Um, hopefully automating a few of the extra farms, things like that. Okay, let's put all of So that's actually going to get enchanted really quickly. I uh, don't need Death Strike 3. Sharpness 5 is kind of useless right now. Awesome. Okay. So, right now we need protection four and unbreaking three, which, I mean, I can go ahead and grab protection four if I don't have this stuff for it. Because I know I have a villager with unbreaking. We just gotta go grab it really quick. Um, there it is. And we're level 17, so I think we're gonna have to go uh, level up a little bit at our new XP farm, which, again, that's not too horrible, but I wanna see what we're dealing with first. What is he? Is he this one? He is. Look at that. Okay, so helmet pro four, unbreak three. There we go. That's really all I need on a vault helmet. That makes me happy. I don't think any of my armor has levels though. Um, let's see. Oh, that one does. Ooh, plus 0.3 armor toughness. Oh, right. Withering Cloud 2. Yes! Okay, we're going to have to go run a vault so I can show you guys this. Um, and then plus one armor and plus... Oh, that's awesome. Okay, so whenever you beat a boss, right, your gear levels up. Um, withering 2 cloud means that like when I'm attacking, there's a chance to get a cloud around me of withering 2, but it only affects my opponents. Oh my gosh, that's awesome. Okay. I mean, I'm actually really sad now that I can't repair this idol. Like, oh. I mean, at least it has extended durability, but still. Okay, now we have to just run a vault just for the hell of it. Like, that is such a good roll on that. Oh my gosh. Okay, what's needed in that other one? Right, 33 raw chicken and 561 of that. Uh, wait a second. I have an idea. So we'll use our automatic chicken cooker. To our advantage. This thing produces so much waste. <laughs> like, just imagine how many eggs are actually getting um, wasted. I mean, I never clean this thing out. Oh yeah. Uh, does it tell me how many 
entities I'm actually looking at. Smart says how many entities we're actually looking at here. It's only day 330 as well. Huh. Oh well, I can't find it. It's still gonna be a hell of a lot of chickens. We're actually going to turn this off. Well, I'm pretty sure there's more than 33 chickens in there. Okay, I need 561 smooth stone. So, that means, at first we need to get 561 stone. I don't think I have any stone laying around, do I? Oh, wait, I have some that's, uh... Yes, compressed. Okay. Do I have 561 of it? I mean, almost. I need silk touch one. We're just going to come on down here. We're going to grab ourselves a little bit of stone. Okay, uh, what is it, like two more breaks? There we go. There we are. Yep, we're just going to throw all this into... The auto smelter should work, right? Because I'm using a blast furnace. <coughs> um... Oh, we just ran out of fuel in this thing, too. That's, that is awesome. Oh. It doesn't work. So I just need a regular furnace, then. I mean, like, that is minorly inconvenient. We're just going to put this one from here up there. Okay. Okay. Uh, the sand I have in the ore's chest. Do I have any more of it? I do not. So let's go out and grab it really quick. And then while that's smelting up, and those chickens are growing. We can focus on just other things. Okay, does this have a use? Fuel, uh, bitumen, and tar. But for right now, it's going to fuel our industry. Because I really don't care about uh, the thermal series, because we're not going to get there for a while. So let's 
kind of useless to uh, reserve it for something that we're not going to reach for a while. Oh, damn. Also, I found out something interesting today. Uh, apparently, you can have, you know, up to tier 5 raids. Now, and I'm sure that's probably not new news. You know, people are like, oh, yeah, no. That's a thing. That's been a thing for a while. Didn't know that. Genuinely didn't. So I'm over here going, oh, yeah, you know, raids are raids, are raids and they're kind of, you know, boring. Also, um, so I know that I don't really condone speedrunning because I just don't like speedrunning. Especially in Minecraft, you know, I just don't think that it's anything too neat. But, like, I saw something the other day, or actually this morning. You know, for those of you that say the other day in the way that I do, you know, I appreciate you. you know, the other day could literally mean, like, today, just a little bit ago. The other day could mean, like, you know, a year ago. You, you never know. But anyways, back to my, you know, mindless ramblings. So, this person was like, oh, yeah, hey, this guy, uh has the world speed record for getting a cake in Minecraft. I'm like, okay, that's, I guess that's kind of cool, right? Like, you know, he can get a cake in the fastest time in the world. But upon, like, watching how they do it, it's like, apparently, these speedrunners, like, choose a very specific seed, which I thought kind of went against the whole speedrun thing where you had to, like, pick a random map like, you just get a random map assigned to you upon spawn, and then you have to beat the game or do your objective on that randomized map. So, my whole thing was like, how is that at all fair if he's just basically cheating because he knows which map he's going to spawn on? He knows where everything's at. I don't know. I, I could just be, you know, confused as to whole, how the whole uh, speedrunning thing works. But, like, that just didn't seem like a... Alright, we're actually going to break these down. Or condense those diamonds down. Yeah, like, I don't know. Block of compressed diamond. Oh my god, I love being rich. <laughs> I just have a standard block of diamond. Um, was this used for anything good? Oh, you can make a heart of the sea with it. Speaking of heart of the sea, we need to actually... Uh, do that. Oh, we can make a legendary treasure. Diamond horse armor. Okay. Uh, Heart of the Sea, huh? Oh, we have four of them. We should probably start carrying Eyes of Ender with us. Because we can get chests, like, in the villages that we find, we can go out and find um, strongholds. And then those strongholds, when you fill the portal in the vault, instead of going to the end, it turns into a bunch of chests. However, ooh, hey, 16 hours ago, uh, World Blast 76 followed me. I apologize for not calling that out last stream. Thank you very much, dude. Anyways, um, as I was saying, um, words, thoughts, concepts. Sorry, I'm still like half asleep. Ooh, hey, goody's dead, so that means... That is a lot of vault dust. Jesus, that is a lot of vault dust. I mean, vault nuggets, eh? Okay. Then, really quick question. What do vault nuggets do again? Like, what do they get us? Okay. Oof. 
I see. They give us... Vault Nuggets are very helpful. Power Apple. So it looks to me like they're used just for a lot of modded things. Oh, but we can also make vault gear with them. I mean, requires vault blacksmith, which like... That's not bad. I mean, we could technically do that. Uh, next up, though, we're going to get cooking for blockheads. Just because I want to get the ability to cook pretty easily. Right. We're at 83%. So, like, once these guys putter out, then that'll be it. I mean, actually, or do we want the storage drawers mod? Like... Um, oh, I'm just gonna. There are multiple thousands of stacks of one item block. How can we chain together to create an array of storage? See, like. Okay. Uh, I almost feel the need to buy two more things in here. So I can reduce the effect. Um, I might actually do a simply light mod or decorator. Yeah, I'll probably do um, chef and then decorator, and then I'll get the storage drawers. Oh, I need. Oh yeah, I need whatever it's called. Let's go grab some uh, stuff here. There we are. Really? Really? There we go. Unless the other bits were sucked up by the vault altar. Oh, they are. Ooh, this thing has a mag uh, magnetized items towards it. That's really helpful. And how long does it take for mobs to grow? Because I honestly forget. I don't see anything that says how, uh, how long until they grow. God, they're loud, though. Right, how's the uh, stone coming along? So we're going to speed this up as best I can. Because it's going to take a while. Uh, 
Unless I have like some extra cobble somewhere. Oh, okay, I do. No additional furnace. Okay. This is going to take so long. Okay. Anyways, so let's work on a farm while we wait. No, actually, I think a raid might help out a little bit better. Oh, we need to deposit all this stuff and put it away. I'm not even going to bother with that right now. Okay. Oh. Any mob drops? Go there. Ooh, we got another sweet kiwi. We're going to have to take that downstairs. Let's see here. Random miscellaneous vault garbage. Put Vutex shards in here. Star Essence. But, um, I don't know, burger parts. I mean, I'm surprised at how well we're getting burger parts. You know, I'm definitely not complaining. It's just a genuine surprise to me that we're coming across them at such a frequency. Um, don't think we have... Nope, we don't have you as a trader core. Let's probably get a few extra trader cores installed. Oh, that's that needs to get deposited. Okay, Wu Tech Shard. Let's get these things. Let the books go away. Things that belong in here will go in here. Which I think that's it for this batch. There's the star essence. Okay. Oops, we missed it. Yeah, I guess this isn't too terrible. All right, not the ball plating. But the bronze, yes. And then vault plating goes there. Burger parts there. Cobalt apples, which are completely useless to me, are going in there. Oh, I also have jade apples that need to go away. Like, I could use the jade apples, but... No, it doesn't really... Get me excited to use them. There's okay. There's the mystery eggs. Wool. That there.
Okay, so they're starting to grow up. Later we'll come back for the harvest. Just running back tonight, we feast! Okay, 22. See, I'm excited for these boots. These boots are the ones that I really, really want. About to level 53, and I don't think I have enough blue tax shards. Um, let's actually look at how many blue tax shards we have. We have eight. And we can't craft them. What in the hell? <laughs> System can't keep up. All right, where's my... Uh... There we go. <laughs> I've got my 33 raw chicken. Oh my gosh, that was just very happy inducing. Okay. Now we need 561 sweet stone. Oh, sad cry. Okay. Uh, how's this coming along? We're actually gonna take those out, and we're just gonna come on over here, and we're gonna just start refilling, and we're gonna dump the rest in here of the pre-completed stuff. Uh, let's see here, what farms do we need now? Back to what we're doing here today: farms and farming. Like, I just kind of want to get automation up, so we have that. We have that we have this in here which needs a new golden apple I don't know why I keep wanting to put in the top one I mean, we have enough stuff to make 60 new potions how insane is that I can make 20 new batches of items uh, let's see here. Three, six, nine, twelve. Um, Thirteen. Fourteen. So I can... But I have enough space for fourteen new batches. Fifteen if I keep one batch in the brewing stand. Like, that's absolutely insane. You know, and I'm not going to expand the storage, because, first off, I just don't care. Like, there's no point in expanding the storage. Um, at least to me, there's not. Like, yes, expanding storage would be nice, but what purpose would it serve? Like... Not we're taking all of those in with us. Uh, you know, actually, I think I'm going to put a boss crate down as the collection. I mean, there's no point in hoarding the boss crates. So I might as well just, like, start using it at areas where it'd be smart to do so. And we're going to go grab some more sand. Really quick. Uh, doop, doop. Oh. Uh, okay. Actually, you know what would be really helpful right now? It's just a standard mob farm. Um. Like. Honestly, I might even um, make a mob farm that's just 
you know, not one of those super hard or, you know, super technical ones. I might just build one that is based purely off of Mob's lack of intelligence. Uh, let's actually go to bed so we can make it daytime just so I don't have to deal with being shot at. And I also want to make sure that I keep the phantoms away. Okay. Also, big question here. I can, how many more of the vault traders can I fit in here? Oops. I mean, infinite water bucket. That's not bad. Uh, no, I think I'm going to go buy that, and I'm going to see if I can move those. Because if I can move the traders, then I will. But I don't want to lose out on any... Uh, anything. Okay, there we are. Okay, so... Oh... <laughs> okay, um... I'm willing to miss out on a Wujidai gem just to see if this is legitimate. Yep. Cool. It's going to be another thing that we do. I'm going to move the vendors. Could line them up here for now at least. I have no idea which order they're going to be in either, which is going to be really fun. Yeah, honestly, I think just having a bunch of vending machines. So I need one, two, three, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I need nine more vending machines. I could fit them double stack as well. Okay. Um, where's my redstone at? And I need glass panes, so I'm going to need glass, because... How many glass panes I got left? None! Perfect. And we're going to need a bunch of iron. And we're actually going to put in all of the trader cores. Um, you know, I'm kind of tired of not having... The, uh... The guys the way they need to be because you know you never know look at that nine perfectly oh it kind of adds something to this area as well okay i realize this isn't really a farm per se but it is a way of gathering resources and it's cleaning out our chests Okay, so first, five ups. Human Jacks, Captain Sparkles, Captain Wutax, Mars 22, Zine, H-Bomb. All right. Antonio, Ash, and Scala are the last two. Let's go ahead and make it couple extra I don't know why I was looking up there I knew where they were at okay hold on I want to see exactly how many trader cores we can fit down here one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen okay we can fit exactly seventeen things down here, so that means we're going to have a total of 34 possible traders. I 
mean, I think that's pretty cool, though, that we can have up to 34 traders. Uh, we'll kind of put them... Okay. Storage upgrade. Rocket arrows. I mean, he sells hardy apples. That's... We're, we're just going to do that really quick. All right, cool. Benantite. Okay. I mean. Eh. Definitely not. Oh. Two basically free health potions? Definitely not. Definitely not. And... Why not? Yeah, and then the rest of these guys are just kind of... They're just gotten the regular trades. I mean... I don't see why I wouldn't do that either. Okay. Well, the shovel's the closest to breaking, so the shovel goes in. And I need to go get some more stone. I also need to go get more of that sand. I guess we're almost done. Okay, where is it at? There it is. Best part about living in a desert? Lots of the weird sand. I'm not even going to try to pronounce it because I know that I am horrible with the language of English. Okay. Uh, wait, I need a cactus farm. I need to build a cactus farm. All right, while we get the, or after we get this all set up, then we'll build our cactus farm, because then everything should be all nice and, uh, wait, hold on. Does this work from down here? It does work from down here. I mean, am I the only one that finds that kind of cool, that, like, I can just start throwing things around from down here, and it just goes up to the vault, uh, the vaulter? Okay. Anyways, um, wait, Vault Essence, don't we have Vault Essence in a chest already? Yeah, we do. Uh, this can also be used to make regeneration potions. Uh, sorry, I didn't see when the OMG was happening, so if you don't mind saying, like, what you were saying, OMG 2, if you want me to make a comment towards it. Ah, oh, yes, the chicken murder. Great times, great times. You were all uh, my unwitting, unwitting accomplices. So when PETA comes for me, they're coming for you too. I had the perfect defense. They made me do it. All right. Uh... I mean, they're all getting pretty low. Oh my god. Um, we do have two ancient debris. Okay. So, now then. Cactus farm. This will be fun. Um, I, mean, I don't think we can automate sweet berries, so I'm not going to worry about that. I, mean, I could automate bamboo. I don't really care to because I mean like it's bamboo 
I mean, who, who really needs just a metric ton of bamboo? Watch the next uh, thing. I'll be like, you know, five trillion bamboo. Like, oh, I see. How's this? Okay, it's just plugging along. Okay. Um. And here's the question: Do I want this to be a manual farm? Or do I want this to be an automatic farm? Because I can definitely do both. I found that creeper hole. Hello. Ah, I got four rabbit, four raw rabbit after that. Look at that. Okay. Um. Pandas. I mean, yeah, pandas use a lot of bamboo, but I'm not. I don't have pandas. Uh, ooh, actually, I haven't checked this in a while. How's my iron farm doing? Okay. I mean. It's again, it's coming along. Uh, you know what? For right now, while I'm trying to get things established, we're just going to get one. Two. Let's see here. Um, the vein miner does 16 blocks. Okay. Yeah. You know what? I think I'm going to do something in the sky just to uh, make it easy on myself. I don't want to get notifications from Taco Bell on my phone. It's like, hey, you know where we exist. I'm like, yes. But I don't want to go to Taco Bell because Taco Bell is expensive. Especially when you're poor. I should probably make a little uh, rabbit farm or something like that. I mean, yeah, if, uh, if rabbits pop up, then I can start breeding rabbits. And you know what? Let's... There's my axe, and there's the two health potions, and there's where all my uh, carrots went. Okay. Really quickly, I'm just going to put... Look at that. Okay. I measured this out too. I can just barely get up. And so it's a nine by nine base, right? So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Two, three, six, seven, eight, nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yep. Okay. Now, if I build this up really quick, I can have regen and. I wish I could do regen too. Honestly, I'd probably have regen or resistance. I think that's what all of my beacons are going to end up having. Because I don't need haste, I don't need jump boost, I don't need a lot of the garbage.
because I need the regen while I'm fight or while I'm killing guardians. Like this isn't even killing or fighting. This is just killing. You guys are wondering, you know, well, what happened to all the stuff from inside the thing? I got rid of most of it, honestly. Like, I didn't need it. I didn't care. Because, I mean, if I'm going to be making a farm that's just going to consistently produce those items, I just figured it'd be easier. Okay. Resistance and regen. Click that and go done. I don't need speed. I don't need haste. I don't need strength because I already have it. I don't need strength to really, but I do need the regen. And taking less damage is always helpful as well. I guess where should I go? Like this. Just gonna let them kind of funnel in. How is it this slow? I need to go up there and uh, actually tweak it, I think. is so bad. Alright, um, let's see here. I ascend way too fast. I have to, it's like I have to aim for the bottom block there. Alright, let's see what the disconnect is real quick. problem is, but, I think I have this. Okay, let's really quickly start shutting. Okay. 
There we are. Oh wait, I forgot to open up all of it, right? Nope, it's all open. Uh, hmm. Odd. Alright, let's see if I can actually... Alright. Don't care. We repaired most... Oh, wait. We need to... Get this up. doing this as well, where they don't damage you. But, oh well. Actually, if I move the, uh... Huh. If I put the pistons up and then had half slabs here... I think they have their uh, things out and hurt me. Wait, hold on. Even with the regen, I'm getting... Jeez. What the... I'm gonna have to try that at some point in time to uh, see... Blocks come out. Catch me, I guess. I don't think it works that way. Um... So, like, my problem is that they're not, um, there, hold on, let's actually test something out. Oops, okay. Wait, hold on, if I do it that way. See, I have the magma down there, and so if I just fall, I don't get experience from this. It's all good. Um, so like I just gotta get some more half slabs and then move the pistons up. So that way when I do get the uh, thing extended, hopefully, my hope is that they won't see me so they won't get aggroed on me. And so I can just hurt them without them hurting me. But like I said, that is, oh god, that's lag. Anyways, that's the hope, but in practice, it might not be that good. Oh, 
but we can actually test that right now. With a few half slabs. I mean, since we are working on farms, I do want to get this one pretty dialed in. And then I can focus my two little brain cells on getting... I don't have slabs. Kidding me? Okay, cool. We'll use endstone slabs for this uh, particular experiment here. Guardian farm. Because it's not like they're going to be permanent anyways. Uh, we just go... Nope. Still hurt. Okay. Um, oops. What if it's like this? Nope. They still hurt, so... That doesn't really affect much now, does it? Come here. So I just gotta deal with uh, the damage. Oh well. I mean, like, again, it's not the worst thing ever. And it is a farm. I have nothing else I can AFK here and just get a bunch of Prismarine. And the crystals. As well as raw cod. Uh, home. Okay. Anyways. On to... Cactus Farm. Let's grab this. Okay, so I'm going to need a collection system, and let's see here. We have to do this intelligently, because they will spawn a golem on things near them. All right, you're the Frostwalker guy. I was wondering where you were went to. Uh, you know what? Let's put the cactus farm right over here. And then... If I'm smart, I'll be able to get a hopper system. So, all the water will funnel into one spot. Um, and then, it'll just fall down a hole into a hopper. Which, I mean, I know sounds really cheesy. But honestly, it's just saving me resources. Like, I realize that I have a farm, and so the hoppers, I can have an infinite amount so long as I AFK long enough. It's just more the fact of like I don't want to have to AFK just to get myself a uh, a thing here. Okay. Uh, so this is going to be the edge here. Let's see here. This is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, 13. Okay. So if I just stop it at that, uh, that's going to be 11 by 11 on the inside. So let's actually measure out where we can put cactus and where we can't. 1, 2, 3, 4. Six. Ooh, nope. Can't put it there. So we extend it out of there. Then we can put a cactus there. I mean, actually, I have to fill this all in anyways, because we got to... You know what? We're going to buy the infinite water bucket, because I don't want to keep moving around and things like that. Like, 
Alright, I've got my 2 volt gold, and where am I at? Right over here. Infinite water! Okay, this is... Like, so long as this works the way I'm really hoping it does, you know, the way it says it does, this is going to make me very happy. Uh, where are you at? There you are. Wait, hold on. Is it ready? Does this mean that we can go run a vault with our withering two? Uh -oh. We're so close now. Anyways. I have a tropical fish. Oh no, Nemo. We need to find him. Okay, I'm actually curious how... If this doesn't complete it, I need to know how much... Oh. Okay. And I mean, we also have two soul flames. I mean... I'm tempted to run another cake vault. Because I know I haven't shown you guys what a cake vault is yet. 13. 13! <laughs> oh my gosh. Um, so yeah, cake vaults are, like, they're neat. But, um, I don't really know if I want to run a cake vault today. Anyways, um... How did I miss that? Okay. Let's try coming in for another landing here. Look at that. Um. Okay, so this is one. Two, three, four, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. So this is fourteen. It's probably gonna be like fourteen by fourteen or something. And I don't have. I don't have any light sources up here. Oh well. Okay, let's go grab. I forgot I had the netherite in, or the uh, cobbled deep slate in my thing. Oh well, we're just going to go make this really quick, and then we're going to run the vault, and then we're going to do that. Because we can. I really like, I, I don't think I'll ever stop liking how that looks. You know, if I didn't hate the color purple... Then I might... That's a lot of cobblestone. Anyways, I might make the uh, this section purple. Or like gray or something. You know, a different color. But I'm just not a big fan of the color purple. Alright, let's eat a carrot real quick. I'm not going to risk our infinite water. Alright. Now all we need is a good set of vault pants. I'd say though, um, hold on. The armor doesn't look bad. Like, I get that it's like beaten and worn, but like, it doesn't look the absolute worst. Um, okay. That's an empty shulker. I uh, don't want to carry the soapstone. Honest, I don't want to carry that. The hardy apples go there. 
These are all health too. Don't want to carry that on me. I don't use the bow that often. But it might save us. Okay. In we go. Honestly, Withering 2 makes me very happy. What? Okay. Look at this. We're, we're just going to focus on um, grabbing as much stuff as we can. That's Trader Core. Like, I just want loot. And we're not going down there. Screw down there. Zombie nose, huh? Explosive vials. Oh, God. I mean, oh god, hello. We can try to get everything, but I don't think it's going to be that easy. I mean, especially because, like, look at all of the stuff that we had to find. Jesus, okay. Actually, I'll take those honey blocks. Honey blocks are nice. I got a nose. I got a second nose. Pizza Hut. Oh, hello. Goodbye. Oh god. Um. Broken pottery. Ah, see, look. Withering cloud. I'm immune, but they are not. Another nose. Another nose. Alright. Um, so long as we can farm out at least the noses. Broken pottery. Okay. Um, because remember, every single time that we complete one objective, um, it makes it to where we don't get that particular item again. Okay, where's he at? Oh, there he is. God, I cannot hit anything today. Ooh, we got earrings. Just one set. Uh, I kind of want to get more. Oh, there's another guy. Come on, there's two more noses. One more nose. Got all the noses. Oops, that's the wrong chest. Okay. Uh, that's everything out of the zombies. Okay, I need... Skeleton bone shards. God. Please don't. Oh, damn you. 
Okay, that's the earrings down. done I'm quite content okay we need pottery shards we need annoyingly enough we need skeletons to spawn if looting actually affects the drops on these. Uh, okay, nothing else from the treasure piles. So we're going to ignore those now. Let me in. Ooh. I'm liking all the compressed blocks. And we're actually going to deposit some junk real quick just kind of help inventory manage here okay uh, that leads downstairs but i don't have anything for that Burger part, broken pottery. Ooh, pottery shard. Come on, I just need the piles and garbage. Um. Yeah, I, need, I definitely need to start bringing Eyes of Ender into this place, though. I mean, we have enough stuff to do it. Uh, I don't need anything spider-related. Oh, God, I missed that. Ooh, there's a chest. I see you. Hello. Nope. Wait, that was a bird patty. I mean, honestly, the combat drops are kind of annoying for scavenger vaults. Ooh, I just popped my shoulder. That felt really good. Especially because, like, it seems like creepers never want to drop their combat drops. Also, where in the hell are all of the, uh... Okay. Just getting a speed boost from. Okay. Oh, broken pottery. I mean. Oops, I don't know why I grabbed the golden nuggets. Probably because I'm trying not to die. that way. Ah, yes, this is where we exploded something. Neat. Okay, uh, you know, I probably should have, like, marked the drop-off point. And I think what's going to kill us on this, or at least what's going to screw us on this, is going to be all the combat drops. I am not seeing... Oh no, poison. 
Anyways. I have not seen a lot of creepers, nor have I seen a lot of skeletons. Which, I'm not gonna lie, in terms of just me trying to get stuff from those particular mobs, slightly frustrating. Uh, that's woo to die. Well, we'll grab these just because. I might as well just make the most of my looting spree here, right? Ouch. God altar. If I can't get... Oh, hi. I got two bone shards. I got the two bone shards I needed. Over here saying, oh yeah, no, I can't get... Hello, come over here. Be my friend. Was it five out of eight? Yeah, I need eight. Hello, come here. Okay, six out of eight. There's seven. Let's bring the creeper on over here. got a little less than 10 minutes. I really just need creepers to start spawning. I've, uh, I came from that direction. That's a diamond block, which I don't really need. Um, okay. So I just need to start looting more chests. Like, I need to get lucky on my chest drops here. Please stay away. Please stay away. Okay, anyways. And then I just need to kill a bunch of creepers. Ooh. Uh, okay. Ooh, speaking of. I thought he was going to explode. Okay. Um, ba -da -ba -da -ba -da. I, what I need from the creepers isn't even a lot. I just need three soul charms and two explosive vials. But this is similar to uh, what happened yesterday with my thing, where I just had a bunch of combat drops that didn't want to drop. Okay. I mean, seriously, I needed 10 noses. And that was completely doable. Okay, I don't know if I've been in here before, so we're just going to grab that netherite scrap. I 
mean, honestly, if I found a time altar, I would use the time altar and then just leave. Like, that's where we're at right now. Is, uh, you know. Well, there's the time altar. Uh, now, big question. Are there any other altars? Does not look like it. Alright. Okay, I should have just used it when I saw it. Ooh. Okay. Needs eight kills or eight souls. Hello, gentlemen. Hope you don't mind while I just drink that. Thought I was safe. Was not safe. Was not safe. I think I got everything good out of there. Uh, I have no idea though. Okay, now we gotta get out of here. We gotta get out of here. I've got three minutes. Uh, we got a couple of repair cores though. That's not bad. No more looting. We failed the vault. But. But. We did get some good stuff. And this is why we always have a waypoint, so we can get out. And that withering cloud is really cool. Like, I realize it's not... <sighs> okay. I really wasn't even registering what we were uh, picking up. We probably have some garbage from that, um... I mean, no, I was able to sift it pretty well. Okay. So, new idols. We got three of those. Scalda sells candy bars. I mean, repair cores, though. Um, oh, my God. Okay, let's just eat this really quick. And what do we got here? We got... Uh, no repairs on that. Okay, so this is plus 5% parry, and then the rest of these are just base nothing. I don't think you can repair idols, actually. But I mean, this, this still wasn't a bad run. Um, my gosh. Not gonna lie, I was actually getting a little stressed out towards the end there, especially when I was trying to grab that stuff out of the... Um, out of the box. I mean, the box was definitely uh, enticing. Oops. That goes with us. 
And I mean, I don't know if you guys noticed the knockback resist, but I definitely did. Um, the knockback resist was, like, it wasn't super strong, but it was enough. And also, I mean, bringing the bow with us was a really good idea. Okay, um... I just realized we left all of our gear down there. Uh, Scalda. There you are. Candy bars. Okay. Oh, that's... Yeah, no. Um, we got some new ores and things like that. We got some ancient debris. No, let's just, uh... Work on... Why are there so many zombies outside? Okay, um, like that's, that's an honest question. Why are there so many zombies outside? Um, we're gonna go deal with that really quickly. No, I don't think I'm gonna use any of these idols. Like the ones that have absolutely no um, extra abilities on them are probably gonna get smelted down into vault scrap. Look at them all. Okay. If I use the skeleton against the zombies. I'll put that in our offhand so we can repair it. Having to kind of keep an eye on the mini map behind me. I don't want to get. Ooh, hello. Ooh, there's a block there. There's a husk. Seriously, what's up with all the uh, mobs? Like, I've noticed that there's just certain nights where, like, there are just a metric ton of zombies. Uh, it's just a half. No, that's three quarters. I mean, serious, that's... That was just insane how many there were. Like, is that a normal thing? Like, is that just normal for bunch of zombies to spawn in. So like, I think I'm actually going to keep this one as a just in case. Because I mean, why not? It gives two health and adds half of attack damage. So like when my other idol does break, sadly, we can do something with it. Um, and the rest of these idols I can just scrap. Like I might keep a couple just in case. And we're gonna put my boss crate. It's the only boss crate that should be laying around right now. It literally has all of my stuff. Is it outside? Did I leave it outside? Okay. That is slightly concerning for uh, my memory. It's like I just had the dang thing. Put it in the chest. 
wow and this is not even me like joking around going oh ha, 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 where's uh this thing that i just literally or i literally just had this is me going oh shit where did i put it there is early signs of dementia all right i just lose my mind here anyways me being absolutely uh or going absolutely crazy aside Okay. Let's actually put the golden apple away since we're already down here. Oh, I hate trying to freaking click on it like that. Still can't believe like with how difficult it is to um make golden apples, or at least how annoying it is. We have so many. All right, let's clean out the husks because I find them annoying. And yep, some of them have picked up thing. You know, honestly, I feel like digging a small little trench around the outside and um making the bamboo spikes. And so we have those, that should be fine. And then if we had lingering potions, we could uh, attach to them, but we don't have any, so that's fine. So this is 14 by 14. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. And then we can always, uh, once we map this out, we can always uh, expand later as needed. I just need to find a uh, central point to put my thing. So, like, yeah. What would be really nice to have is uh, that builder's wand where it just takes whatever it is you've already got and just keeps replicating it so you can just go right across. You have to be careful with it though because like you can mess up really bad and you do have to have the resources in your inventory but it's pretty helpful honestly. Water bucket ready. I mean, I guess I could make it like multi leveled and everything else. So, like, once I get a good base, if I need more cactus for whatever reason, I don't see why I'd need a metric ton of cactus, but let's just say for whatever reason I will or I do need it, then I can just, you know, add it on and go up. Okay, 
Okay, so the, they will consistently go to these two spots. No, I can do that. I can do two collection things. If I really wanted to consolidate, I could always just have a little underside. That just consolidates everything. Now comes the fun part. So as long as I don't mess with this, Look at, look at how nice that is too, like, anyways, uh, okay, there we go. Yeah, I've got a, oh, please, please no. And I have no idea actually how to make one of these. I am doing this based off of the idea of how uh, cactus grow. So this may work, this may not work. I know that you can't put things next to cactus because they'll break. Not even other cactus. So now we gotta see what happens when we do this. Okay. Look at that. Huh. Well, that's interesting. What happens if we... something like this and then drop it in. Hmm. Interesting. How about We do this instead then. Okay. Do do do. Do 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 do. I love troubleshooting random problems I never expected to be a problem. Okay, so we're going to have to have three collection points. Okay. That's easy enough. Let's see here, and I don't want to, uh, all right, I need to put that there. Okay. Yeah, I don't really want to double up on things. So I'm just going to have it like this. 
I'm going to try and avoid getting too much in the way here. Okay, yeah, you know what? Let's, uh, I think this will be fine. Yeah, this will be fine. And I have no sand. Isn't that ironic? Completely out of sand. Okay, this is taking too long. <laughs> oh my gosh. And this is also just all over the place. So I do need to make a little under area that's going to consolidate everything into like one square and just shotgun it into that. So I'll probably like deposit. I'll probably have it come back and deposit just like right over here or something. Okay, now we, know. we need sand, we need that, okay. Make a good bed, because I don't need mobs spawning on my little cactus farm. I mean, the fact that we keep getting scavenger vaults is cool, but, you know, maybe the vault's mad that we pulled out that first vault, so it's uh, letting us know that we can't do that every time. Okay, Captain Wu-Tax is out, uh, Stress Monster's out, Tubbo's out, okay. Ooh. Ooh. Oh my gosh, so close. It is so close to being done. Okay. Um, I'm actually really excited to see what happens. Okay. Like, I want to know what I get. And I was like, what do you guys think of the... Uh, Little cactus farm building here, you know. How do you think it looks? I think it looks pretty neat. Okay, so honestly, if the angel perk wasn't so expensive, I might consider it. But it's so expensive. 200 skill points for that. That's actually why I got rid of that choice flask for it. Because it's one of those things where like, you look at it and you go, oh, okay. Oh no, I'm going to lose a choice flask on something I'm never going to use. Okay. I mean, yes, I realize I also uh, could have, like, condensed this farm and made more growing blocks and things like that. But I'm trying to farm these. Um, I want to minimize lossage. Now, I realize that in a cactus farm, I have to accept the fact that things are going to be lost. So I said minimize, not negate. Uh, actually, for this trick, I'm going to be taking off my armor. 
And now for our next trick. See what happens when we start putting a whole bunch of... Yep, see? So... It will have loss, but the loss hopefully will be minimized. And I think it'll grow. You know what, actually, here's what we're going to do. I'm not going to use cactus to build on top of cactus. Wow, we got two back out of all of that. Like I said, really super inefficient farm, but I at least want to see if we get anything while we continue building. I don't have my Elytra. I'm trying to fly using Elytra while not wearing Elytra. I don't want to do that. Like, sitting here double tapping. Like, Why in the hell doesn't it work? It should work. And then it hits me. My wings aren't on. I can lose out on uh, sand and not worry. And shovel time. Overshot. Um, I'm going to laugh if someone that knows how to build cactus farms better than I do goes, hey, uh, that's not how they work. Comments like, who taught you how to build cactus farms? Okay, no, while we, uh, focus on getting. Oh my God. Yeah, we're just going to put that like that because apparently I can't jump. Now we just put the slabs up here.
I probably should have looked up how to make a cactus farm before committing to this. But... Oh well. We're committed now. I'm pretty sure I heard something, so... Nope, that's sand. Yeah. Watch out. Wait a second. I think I know where I went wrong. I think it has to be fence posts. Okay, one second. I'm like, just thinking of things that I've seen people do, I'm like 90% sure it has to be fence posts. I mean, that's, it's not a hard fix, it's a tedious one. Oops. Which seems to be the majority of the problem with uh, this farm is it's, it's not a difficult farm. Just a freaking tedious one. Sorry if that noise is just like god awful for you guys. If you ever an itch in your ear and you gotta fix it? I think those are probably one of the worst ones because I mean they're the most like they're the most frustrating. Okay. Oh hey. Let's go grab a couple more uh things, some more sticks and stuff. Alright, we gotta check on those every once in a while. And we're just gonna grab the rest of these because that's probably gonna be about how much we need. And warped fence don't look bad either, so Bunch of enchanted guys. And there. Haha. Oh, God. 
I gotta try to avoid uh, falling into one of the disposal tubes there. Come on, up. Keep on moving. All right, there we go. Easy but tedious fix. Okay. Now here comes the fun part. We need to light source. Uh, wait, ooh, where are all those sea lanterns at? Probably in here. They're not in there. They were with me the whole time. Wait, hold on. So, yep. yep, there's that. Nope, nope. <laughs> oh my gosh. Like, there's the thing, I really want to get that Omega statue. At the same time, though, I really don't want to do it without you guys. <gasps> it works! Did you guys see that? that I got a cactus? It works! Sorry, like, I get really excited when my things work, and the fact that this weird, and honestly, you know, ridiculous looking thing is producing some cactus definitely makes me happy. Hell? Oh. There we go. Shoo. Okay. There's another one. Okay. Infinite water. Uh, I need ice. I need I need ice. Okay. Um, first we go over here. God. Okay. So. 
Nada. I might just kill that thing really quick because it's starting to annoy me. Come here, buddy. Okay. Uh, I need packed ice. I need. Uh, what else do I need? I need trapdoors. What else do I need? Just regular ice. I don't need regular ice. I need packed ice. There we go. And then I can build up the wall and things like that offline. Ooh. <laughs> we are getting places. See if this works the way I want it to. If it doesn't, then I'll just use a. Uh... Ah. Hmm. Okay. Mistakes may have been made. There we go. Oh, come on. And we're not... And there's no spillage. If we just go here. Okay. Theoretically, everything should fall into there. Well, I actually don't want to skew this by giving it a fall pattern there. So what we're going to do is we're going to build up here. There's a husk. That was easy. Okay, and now we wait. I want to see if it gets... Oh, it's actually... Okay. Shouldn't have to wait that long. I guess I could just like start dropping a bunch of deep slate or sand in, but I want to see how this farm naturally does it. Also looks pretty nice on the mini map because we're actually starting to utilize new space. Uh, 
Um, oh, yeah, let's build up our little wall while we wait. Yeah, no crazy modded stuff for this. It's just a very simple, very nice farm. Okay, there we go. Nice stuff. Oh, heard something. And we also kind of have to account for the large amounts of lossage that we're probably going to be getting from this. Just because, you know, you're going to have cactus landing on cactus. So, I mean, oh no, we will get some loss. But that, again, is fine. Okay. I still think that the uh, stone cutter should do damage to you. I will never not say that. Like, Definitely glad that the stone cutter can't do damage, but I think it should because there's a massive freaking saw blade on it. Okay, we'll do a couple drops over here, do a couple drops over there, a couple right there, and a few right there, and let's see what we got. good like that's actually really good okay now all we need to do is uh, get one hopper as opposed to the massive amount that I was going to be using for this arm I don't know, I was going to make the entire floor made out of hoppers. Because I was, I forgot that water was a thing for a minute. And yes, yeah, so that's like actually what I was, I had forgotten that we could use water streams to push things around. So, you know, I was going to go, oh yeah, hey, we'll just grab a boatload of hoppers. And everything will be fine. Oh, I don't have a spare boss crate, do I? Nope. Okay. Which means we're going to have to dump everything from... And even though I don't expect this farm to be fast and efficient, I do expect it to at least produce. Because, you know, it is producing. So, like, I'm just going to throw the crate down to collect just so that way we can uh, kind of just ignore it I don't have to worry about going oh no do I have to go empty the chest or empty the chest at all or anything else it can just be yay we're done and okay there's the scavenger crate uh, Honestly, later I might uh, use the scavenger crate for the mob farm that I'm going to build. Never know. Also, killing bosses is the incentive for just increasing my storage capacity at this point. <laughs> um, just 
one last test. I, I'm going to just drop the 64 fish randomly in the random spots. All right, so they're just going to have to be 64 raw cod. Or at least no raw cod sitting on uh, the edge there. There goes some cactus as well. All right, I think that's enough. Oh, wait, how in the hell? Yeah, okay, so. Here's what we're gonna do help further funnel it because it looks like see and this is why we do testing oops that's why we also pay attention to what we're doing um it's looking as though it's uh having some residual momentum Kind of annoying that we're also going to have some lossage just purely based off the water streams. Okay. Idea. Okay. This is why we do troubleshooting and things prior to deeming whatever it is that we're doing a complete and total success. So thick. Ooh. So, and I should have foreseen that. Oh my god, are you kidding me? That's why we can't have nice things. Okay. So, uh, here was the problem. You know, since it was having like water streams moving around like crazy and everything else. We now have this. And hopefully, hopefully. This will uh, cause it to work better. And so everything will stay within tolerance. Okay. Now I need to go grab water. Where's my water bucket? It's going to be in that double birch chest, which looks disgusting. I really don't like the uh, look of the birch. That's why I was converting it all to uh, other stuff. Just a random piece of deep slate. Okay.
Okay. Now that we've gotten that, now to the last test. Oh god, my spike. Okay. Well, let's, uh... Are these ready yet? Yeah. Ooh. Yes, we got one! Oh my gosh, we finally got one. I think I want the uh, blue chest. Oh my gosh, I can't believe we actually got one. Okay. Item not selected, huh? So, first off, we're going to put that there. And terracotta, stone, gabbro, oak leaves, or rebar concrete. Um... Honestly, I probably want, out of all these, I probably want the terracotta. <laughs> Look how ridiculous this looks. This thing is just huge. Oh, Jesus. Um... Yeah, you can have it be the big variant or the small variant. Um, wait, and you can turn it back, right? Yeah, so I can choose whether I want a huge Omega statue. Oh. Oh, it's not that small, huh? Why am I trying to use a pickaxe on a chest? Okay. So, like I said, Omega statues, um, I'm probably going to make, like, while I realize that Omega statues aren't going to be very common, I feel like making an area where we just have the Omega statues. Oh, jeez. That is tall. I kind of like this one better, because it shows what I'm making. All right. Um, let's put it off to the side so I don't have a torch in my head. All right, yeah, look at that. So I'll end up making a nice big area in which uh, I'll have the Omega statues we collect. But no, that's that's really cool. So that statue is just going to forever and always produce terracotta. And um, to my knowledge, there's no way of changing that, which I think is pretty balanced. Like if you're going to perpetually create a resource don't have a way of changing it but yeah i'll end up making like a little uh statue hall room thing so i'll have areas for the omega statues and i'll have to and yep lossage cool we need to fix that anyways i'll also have areas for um the smaller statues the ones that really you know the temporary ones Can I change uh, recipe? Yes, I can change regular slabs into vertical slabs. 
And I'm going to grab my axe really quick. There we go. Yeah, it just doesn't have enough moment, or it doesn't uh, have enough of a drop. So. What we're going to do is we're going to actually Alright, so I think that's going to conclude it for today. Um, honestly, I'm probably going to just be AFK here for a little bit just to make sure that the farm is working at capacity. You know, we're not getting too much weird lossage. Uh, if there is any odd lossage, I'll end up, I'll just fix it and make sure that the tunnel isn't. Now, I don't want to make the tunnel too long. Like, I literally think that's as low as I want to make it. So, hopefully, the lossage has been fixed now. I, I think it pretty much has, just because of the fact that, like, um, with the half slab, there's not a lot of space for those uh, cactus parts to have, uh, whatever it's called. All right, 15. Yeah, they don't have a lot of momentum because they only have half a block to travel. So, like I said, hopefully that, uh, hopefully that fixes the issue. But, thank you all for watching. I will see you next time. Goodbye.